Working in high water table environments, like coastal locations, presents unique construction challenges, especially when the project demands subterranean or below ground construction. Many people in coastal areas assume that because of the risks associated with below ground construction, it's not possible for them to increase the size of a new beach home by adding a basement or other below ground amenities, such as a swimming pool. But European technology and know-how that is being used by an innovative Southern California-based drilling and shoring contractor, DJ Scheffler Inc., is putting basements back into beach homes and is adding greatly to the safety and efficiency of below ground construction. To understand the difficulties associated with below ground construction in high water table coastal areas, one must first examine the traditional construction methods associated with this type of work. In order to create a suitable environment for subterranean construction in a high water table environment using traditional methods, it was necessary to undertake a dewatering effort in order to create a dry environment in which to work. This dewatering process involves sinking pipes around the property in question and literally sucking the water out of the ground using pumps. The removal and re-entry of the water into the ground can cause soil instability which can create sinkholes and otherwise lead to damage of nearby homes and property. This risk of damage has discouraged many contractors and even led cities and other civil authorities to greatly restricting underground construction in these types of coastal regions. However, DJ Scheffler, using adapted European techniques and technology, is making subterranean construction in coastal regions safe and efficient. The DJ Scheffler process involves several accepted drilling and shoring techniques that in combination, and under the right conditions, can make the installation of a basement and coastal home a reality and make subterranean construction in general in these areas much safer. The first technique is a drilling and filling process called continuous flight augering or CFA for short. In this process a shaft is drilled and then as the auger is withdrawn concrete under pressure is pumped into the shaft filling it and eliminating any potential void thus greatly reducing the possibility of shaft cave-in or other types of failure. Then a series of interlocking CFA piles are drilled and filled, creating a wall that is now usable for shoring and earth support. The connection of these interlocking piles in a square pattern around the work area is then followed by the removal of the dirt, sand or other material in the center of the construction area. Once the dirt is removed, a concrete floor or pad is poured through the water and once it cures, the water is safely removed, leaving a dry environment in which construction can safely be done. The advantage of this process is that the possibility of damage to nearby properties and homes is vastly reduced, and a basement or other below ground amenity can now be safely added. For more information on this and other innovative drilling and shoring techniques being pioneered by DJ Scheffler Inc., you can contact them at basement at djscheffler.com or call them at 909-595-2924.